Hey for real fishing, um, before we get into this video I just wanted to explain why I've been gone for so long and I haven't uploaded in nearly four months. It's because well we're fishing in Missouri right now, I've been out of town from Tampa, haven't been able to post any saltwater fishing videos or tips and starting up in two weeks on the 11th, um, two Tuesdays, I'm going to be posting every Tuesday now um, fishing videos, fishing tips in saltwater Tampa Bay and they're gonna be really high quality videos I'm gonna make sure of it um, I'm gonna be consistent too so make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss that video um, the 11th I'm gonna be posting the first video it's gonna be shark fishing on the beach with light spinning tackle um, I'm gonna make it really easy um, show you guys really good tips to target and have a fun day on the beach to fish um, and yeah, it should be good catches. So make sure you like, subscribe. Let's get into the video. So right now, guys, we're gonna be trying to catch these bait fish. We're gonna be rigging these small little worms on the little hook. So then we can get these bluegills or sunfish, cut them up for these catfish bait. Let's get in the water, see how it works. So right now you can see they're just waiting right there already for it. Just gonna give a little pitch. We literally should be able to just set it right there. He is very small hooks because they got really small mouths. And we just keep pitching out there, not getting any. Okay, here we go. Right in that spot again. Let's see if we can get one already. There we go. There's a beautiful size one right here. It's a nice little bluegill. And sadly his life is gonna be ending here for a catfish's stomach. But as we can see guys, it's a nice little bluegill. We're gonna cut him up um, and then throw him out for those catfish. Let's get him off the hook. I'll bring him over to the cutting board. Okay guys, we got the bluegill. Now we're gonna be cutting them up. We have to make sure we kill them first. We don't tor We never want to torture a fish. Oh my gosh! It's trying to run away from me. Jeez, guys. Okay, guys. As I was saying, you never want to torture a fish, so you gotta leave them here. And we gotta humanely kill them, which is either stabbing them through the brain or chucking them on a rock. And while I do that, I'll be getting them ready to cut them up. See you guys here shortly. Okay, guys. Now that we ended this live. We now have to cut them into nice portions for those catfish. First, we're gonna cut off the tail so it doesn't get in the way of the hook set. And we're just gonna be focusing on these nice meaty portions. Let's get them fired up with that little piece. Okay, now what we're gonna need to do is cut up their top fins up here. Cause these will also spike the catfish and make them less interested in our bait presentation. And it's all about getting those good strikes. Okay, so now that we got that cut off, we are now gonna make this cut right here for that big chunky piece. And see how it's about even on each side with the tails off? This is a beautiful piece that the catfish will love to see. And there we go. We're gonna get it rigged up and I'll show you how to rig it right now. But right now I'm going to be showing you guys how to rig this. See how we have it. All of his fins are off except for these bottoms. These, are, these aren't as pokey. They won't poke the fish. But all of his fins are off. Nice, even, big chunk. And what we're going to do is run it through the top here first. Then we're going to run it through with the line in it too. It helps it stay on better. I love this way. I love running the line through it because it really keeps the bait for a while and you can reuse it. Not have to kill so many bluegill. Okay, and then we're just gonna leave it at the corner right there. So when he takes off, run in with it, boom! Snags him right in the mouth and we got a nice little catfish. Okay, we're standing up with it. Dip my hands in the water real quick before letting this go. Uh, and now we cast it uh, in some of the deepest parts of the pond. So that's a really nice cast, boom. That's one of the deepest parts of the pond. That's where all the catfish are deepest parts now we're gonna set it in this rod holder right here and leave it to be and we're just gonna watch that line run with a nice old channel catfish ok 
Okay guys, now that we have our rod out right there, we are just gonna be waiting, watching that line, waiting for the tents, waiting for it to tense up. Then we're gonna let the bale go, let him run with it a little bit. And then once we think he's on, we hook it really hard and start reeling him in. Let's get to it. Oh, something. Oh, something is on it. It might be a nice sized bass, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a bass. I have never caught a bass. And it's a small one. I've actually never caught a bass on a chunk bait before. But I guess that's my first pass. It's a really small one. I'm surprised he went for this. Um, that's really cool though. Okay guys, well it's a nice little largemouth bass on the chunk bait meant for catfish, but he's a small guy and let's throw him back. It's all about the waiting game for these catfish. They're really lazy, big old creatures. Take a while to come to that bait. Ooh, that is what we are targeting, but oh no. That's a really nice sized catfish though, but unfortunately it's dead. That just goes to show what they look like in here. I think there's, hopefully there's bigger ones, but that's sad to see. Keep moving on along here. Do we have some? Oh my gosh, guys, we're slammed. We're getting slammed right now. <sighs> right when we walked back, right when we think we were gonna catch that catfish, we got something coming on for it right now. It's a big one, too. We gotta let him come back and get it. Oh, I had the tension on, dang it. All right guys, so what just happened is we lost that big catfish because we had the bale too tight and it pulled right out of its mouth. And what we're gonna do to fix that next time is have the rod in our hand. We're gonna loosen the bale, let him run with it for a couple seconds, and then just absolutely crank it in his mouth. Just to make sure we really get him on there and in tight. And that was a mistake. We still got the bait on fine, but we're gonna get it next time. So I'm gonna cast this guy out here, keep us part of the pond, and let's see if we can catch another one. Woo! There we go. Now we're hooked. Oh yeah. Oh, this is a big one. Catfish of the day actually hooked. We're just making sure we're driving that hook in. Oh, he's putting up a good fight here. Let's see him up here. Woo! Oh yeah. There he goes. This is gonna be a pretty good size one here. Yeah, a really beautiful size one here. Woo! Just don't want him to get caught up on all these rocks here. Let's get him over here away from these rocks so we don't cut them up. Buddy, I'm trying to help you, man. Oh my gosh, guys. It's a nice size one. Let's get on with these guys. Ugh. Guys, 
Our goal was to catch some big catfish today. I think we did just that. We threw out the big bait and we got this big guy. Let's put him back in the water. Whoa!